Hello games and welcome back to Alua Games. Uh, we're back in No Man's Sky. Aquarius invites us down to the water to relax, catch fish, and share tales. It's featuring a brand new fishing system, hundreds of fish to track and collect, new customization options, the community-wide Aquarius expedition, and more. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be able to catch and collect and catalog a variety and a vast array of fish. That's what space needs. Fishing poles. Explore different habitats and craft unique bait to track down each new catch and destroy the exos. Deploy, not destroy. The exoskiff and fish in comfort, whatever the weather. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get down there and see what we got going on. Now, <clears throat> it's nice that they added the fishing. Um, we are on the path of Atlas and trying to see how far we can get. Um, we want to complete it and we've had to build our way to a green star system. And it looks like we need to go to a blue star system next. And I'm just going to hop inside to get the temperature under control. Alright, so we're at Echo. And when I last left off, I thought about building an Argon Radon um, farm, and I have. Uh, I built a Radon farm, and uh, looks like it's full of Radon too already. We uh, just um, lost the video to that and by losing the video I mean it only recorded audio and no video so I guess there was never actually any video but it's up there now and we are mining emerald and everything is good so, in the Starship, we have an indium drive, a cadmium drive, and an emerald drive. Now, our indium drive is good to go. And those didn't take any fuel. It looks like all the fuel was just warp cell fuel and it goes right here so the main goal was to build this guy up to what does it say it doesn't say log goes to the machines the atlas path heart of the sun we got to get it to the heart of the sun there we go and what do we need indium i think we're getting close to the end of the atlas path but we're requiring indium and that would be on a blue star So, Ty, let's take off and find us a blue star. So we're off and into space. There's a nice little planet. Seems like. Oh, that's the anomaly. Well, we want the galaxy map. And we want to find a blue planet. Oh, there's some blue planets right there. They're like exactly halfway between 
don't see anywhere close by. Uh, we probably need to go to Free Explorer, huh? I don't know. Just. Alright, so those all look to be yellows, reds. We want to go down to those blue ones. There's a line down to that green star. Can we get on that thread? No. It's not letting me jot down that way. All paths lead up. And I don't see a path to a blue star. No. Nope. <laughs> Zooming out. We got that one going way up. Right off the map. And all the blue stars are just out of reach, huh? And I see them everywhere. I think we're going to have to go somewhere. I want to go to this one. But it's not letting me get to that blue star. Seems like I should be able to get there. Okay. I think I see a thread to a blue star. It's that little blue star at the top of the screen. Between the galaxy and Free Explore. It looks like we're... Yeah, we need to go to that one. Then this one. No. I don't want to go up that way. I want to go, no, nope, right there. Now, is this a blue star? It's a one star system, but my only question is, is it blue? Well, let's go there and find out. 
It looked blue when we first saw it, and we need more resources to get us that final atlas plaid. All right. Now we're looking for none of that. We're wanting indium. That's a big one. Also no indium. But we're here for indium. Activated indium? Is that what we call it? Indium. We want to go there. That means that we're going to go to, what is the name of this planet again? Axis 65. We're definitely going to go to Axis 65 and get our indium on. We're going to take a stop at the space station real quick so we can warp to it locally. And I know it's a one star system. Oh no. Looks like it is a destroyed space station. That's not good. And, yep, it's empty. Well, we're getting out here with the uh, creepy... <clears throat> the creepiness. Alright. Let's see what they do have to offer. Besides black corners and red lights and sparks get some old-fashioned nav data mm, don't really want to sit but we'll take the free nanites There is a market here. And it cannot. What does this mean, error? Because it. $1,055 for a piece of metal plating. That's kind of cool looking. In this corridor, need Atlas Pass version three. We can make a version one. Do we have a version one on us? You know, we should probably get around to making a few of those let's just take copper and microprocessors two three four five six seven eight nine ten Well, we're running low on chromatic metals. We'll just have to get to a warp gate to uh, go get some out of a vault. It's not a 
big problem. But I don't see a warp gate here. Oh look, a warp gate. A lantern. Ah, it just turns it on and off. Now, extract nanites? Yes. Another creepy dead end that requires a version 3 atlas. Yep. Well, we are currently on Kegnuing, right? Maybe. Okay. And we're wanting to go to one of our bases and pick up some chromium, some rainbow metal forged of copper or emerald, cadmium. Iridius, and then we'll just get back to forging, forging further. All right. <clears throat> Black is red. Could be this one. Nope, oh, that was purple. Must be this one. All right. Now we are full. And since I'm here and trying to make yellow stuff, oh look at that. We already got forty here. So we don't really need that. And I'm just going to make it while I'm here. I don't even know what we need the microprocessors for. I want... Atlas Path. Copper. Did not expect the copper request. I don't think I store copper. I keep it on the planet oh. yep. Oscar because Oscar had copper. We made the copper farm at Oscar. Oscar for the oxygen plant. That's oh, was our first plant and our first plant came with a copper deposit. Haven't been there in a while. But we have created all these for the ease of refilling our supply needs. And we need copper. So let's take a visit back to Oscar, get some copper, and make some Atlas cards. Atlas passes. Because we've never actually made those. The ox system. Hmm. <laughs> Ed lives here. Haven't seen Ed in a while either. All right. This was the base that was glitching. We built so much here. All right. Oh, look at that. It's got fifty-eight thousand. We'll take that. No, I want all of it. Do we need anything else while we're here? Like some oxygen? Uh, I guess. Paraffinia, nitrogen. Not really here to refine. Just 
collecting and going. And we go to actually while I'm here. Yeah, we were just going to create them here at the base with vaults. There's the Atlas Path. I'm sorry, the. Yeah, it is an Atlas Path. And you. Do they not stack? Okay, they do not stack. All right. What does it take? Copper and microprocessors. Well. <clears throat> That means well, we can carry 20 by carrying a stack of copper around like that. And those two together is a set of Atlas Pass. I wonder <coughs> if Atlas Pass version 3 will let us open up all three levels. You know what, we probably need to put these in the vault. I don't want to carry them around. So, that's the yellows here. Nope, that's white. I went too far. Yellows here. Alright. So, we're just going to throw some copper in here. And microchips. And I want to add some oxygen to the red vault, which I think is this one, which there is a little bit of oxygen in there already. Yep, definitely some oxygen in there. In cadmium, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice to know that we have the supplies. All right. It says this was the previous system. I thought the name of it was Something else. And I don't. I don't think that was right. What was. It was Kej Nuji, Four Planets, Kej Nuji, and the space station. There it is. Not sure if I mean, yeah, I think we should definitely change the name to India since we're getting iridium. India is the, the military word for it, I do believe. India. All right, but I don't want to name it till I find that deposit. Oh. You know, we got the Atlas One cards. And I know it says version three. But we have three of them. 
Does that count? I mean, I know it doesn't, but I still want to try. I don't know. It's just that urge to try regardless. Oh, version 3 required. No. Well, <clears throat> we'll have to get more salvage data, I do believe, to get to that point. All right, where's our ship? Tie, tie. Tie the Firefly. We're just going to head out of here. Find that planet again. It was not one of those two. I'm going to get away from the spaceship a little. Space station. There, it's one of these two. I believe it was the further one. And it says no. No, I'm not the further one. Indium. Indian. The heck was that? Okay. Sure, but I wanted to go here. So <clears throat> I tried to warp to it and it stuck me on that asteroid because it had some resources in it that our ship burns and so I fed Ty and now we're going down here to get some iridium right through these clouds whoosh I have no idea what kind of planet this is but it looks like it's full of mines. Okay, so tethered hot air balloons? Yeah, it's a planet full of tethered hot air balloons. I'm going to go over this hill just to see what kind of landscape we're looking at. Very hilly. Yep, it's full of hills. unmapped not even sure some of the atlas seed we've done 8 out of 10 so this will be 9 out of 10 steps alright so we've just been headed south I was going to turn north, but I looked at the compass, and we've already been heading south, so let's just continue that. Now I'm just kind of looking for a flat spot. I don't like the way the terrain looks. I haven't seen no worms. That tethered hot air balloon just disappeared. Did it become untethered? I don't think so. Or we would have already seen some balloons floating in the air. <clears throat> um, this might be as flat as it gets. So we're going down. Anomaly strength negative 11. Boundary falling. Well, let's jump out. I 
thought it was something. That's an inorganic object. That's a tethered balloon. Well, it doesn't say that it's violent. How about the rocks? Are they alive? No. Not a bush. You know, they just seem like they're closer than they really are. The only thing we're losing is oxygen, though. Right? We're not losing um, anything to radiation. What's this blue aura? And it's just moving. What the heck? It's alive. So it's a floating worm. Maybe that's like the refinery plant. And that is pretty weird. That is definitely alien technology. Yep, let's leave it at that. Okay. We're here to find iridium. We got a B class. B classes, great. I don't mind B class at all. It's better than C class. And if it's better than C class, that's great, right? Yeah, all right. Is it iridium? Jump and hop. We went right by. And the spots right here. Here we go. We found gold. We already have a gold farm. That's not what we wanted. All right, we're going to head south. We want iridium, a B class gold farm. Hmm. It doesn't sound bad. It's all good. Alright. He's gonna jump out this direction. Get up this mountain and the sky is lighting up to a nice blue. So you can have a blue sky on a blue star planet. Is that what you're saying? We're still too close to gold. We need to find the iridium and the electromagnetics. Here we go. Dead ahead. For a long ways. Oops, we took a side bounce there. All right, support system. Okay, we've gone a long way. I 
guess we've traveled 100 meters. And there he is. Just nothing I know to do but hoof it. Fortunately, I think. Are you kidding? All right. Is that a cave opening? We're there. Right next to a cave is sea level. So, you know, not the greatest, but it's indium. We found it, indium. Okay. You know what? I should have just taken the time to find that 38 39% spot. There it is. Look at my feet. All right. And then just kind of realize where that spot is. It's that cranny. Yes, that's a cranny, not a nook. People get those so mixed up. Oh my gosh, we need metal plating. I'm going to forget where the nook is. Alright, so... Need some metal plating. And I don't want to move. Just, oh my god, just, just give me the metal plating. Two. Always with the metal plating. Like every time I turn around. Okay. Then a save beacon. And we're just going to put it right there. And this spot is 38. 39 is right here. And I'm still standing on it. See, yeah, we hit it. I want to see what their caves look like. That must be the cobalt. Yep. Cannot scan the mushrooms. Or the stalactites. Is stalactite the one that hangs? Oh look, vines. Okay. You convinced me. A different kind of ball. You know, I think y'all have got the least. All the cool stuff just went to the top of the planet, huh? Alright. But if you're tired of the color blue. Just a C-class iridium. So now, will it both for electromagnetics and better iridium? Looks like there's some minerals just dead ahead. Gold. And some blue, white, gray stuff. There's like, could be copper too. Gold. Oh. Indium. So this is what it looks like on the ground. It's blue with purple veins. You know, I'd call that uh, turquoise with blue veins, right? Yeah. That's what I'm going to go with. And there's more gold. Oh no, one of you people. 
Okay, so this is going to be one of those planets. 450. So I could still go further. We're headed south to start with. And we've only gotten 450 away. And I just want to get away from that robot. Is there dust? If their dust moves up, and that's why the aura lights are going up, then why aren't we lighter? We should be able to fall from great heights. If their gravity is just that weak. Right. Alright, 624 units. That's as far as I wanted to go out. There's the electromagnetics. Good, good. All right. On the first shot, this is just awesome. All right. What what class is it? C. Hmm. Not the best. We're not traveling due south, are we? No. You are a mountain. Heck of a cliff. We need over you. Just let me get over you. Oh, that was a heck of a climb. Alright. Yep, yep. Almost there. And we found it. All right. And we're we're already at the 49 spot. Okay. So we're just so that patch right there. Right there is the 49 spot. We drop the save beacon right there. Okay, so now we have both spots marked. Anybody near? Oh, an A. Well, you know, we don't have to search for a C, but an A. Could it be iridium? Oh, that would just be so much better than a B. Okay. We're going to hunt this spot out. If it's not iridium, we're not going to mark it. Because we're going to have to build a base somewhere between the two. And we just don't know if it's going to be able to reach all the way out to where whatever this is. But if this is going to be our iridium spot. Then it'll be between this spot and the electromagnetic spot. The answer is. Dum -da -da -dum, drum roll. Brrr. This is it. We found an A. Oh. Well, now all we have to do is pay attention to the S's. <laughs> Yay. All right. So, right. We went right over this 79. That's a small 79 spot. Okay. We're on the 79. So, it'll be right in front of this, too, because my feet. You don't look exactly straight down. It's just kind of add a little so you just I picked that pink blob underneath the oval marker I've got step back and say that's the spot get the save beacon out drop it down the base is going to go between those two and we got to destroy that one and I think the base is probably going to go like you know Right in there, or maybe we we'll just put it on top of that hill. 
just destroy those two. Put a base up in the air. I don't know. This is kind of feeling like a pretty peaceful planet, but it's got sentinels. That's not good. But surely they won't mind us moving in, right? Yeah, it's only got a few sentinels. Right. All right. I'm going to fill up with some more oxygen. And we're going to do some hoofing over here. But we definitely get to build a new base here. So, yeah. This one's the furthest one away, so I just assume it's the C-class Iridium. Really? What did I land on? I'm barely moving here. Like, that really hurt. Oh, my shields are going back up. They're filling up. I'm going to let them fill all the way up. You think like falling from a height onto one of these balls is what did it? And it gave me like that weird icon at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what it was. But now I'm going to do it again. I missed. I missed. It's got two right here together, I figured. Oh yeah, I definitely landed on top of it. My shield went halfway down. So landing... I'm falling from that height, I think, would cause that too. You're called... Rabelite. You're a Xanadite. You know... Maybe there was a difference. Okay, but what's that? Oh, I'm not supposed to scan him. No, he's a sentinel. Okay, so the red icon is for sentinels. There it is. We made it. Let's make sure this is the right one. Should be C class Indium. And it is. I'm just going to pick that up and now we have gotten rid of that. We're not going to make a farm there. Right? We got an A class farm. We scored an A on our Iridium test. Indium test. Indium. Indium test. Alright. Now we need to get right over there. Probably where those two... Yeah. We kind of recognize those as... Base markers. And destroy them. So they can regrow right in the middle of our base. Or we can just build a base around them. Encase them inside the base. You know, that's not a bad idea. What kind of base do we want? Well, we want one where we can get over the hill. 
Up, 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 and away. We found a class indium. Now we drop a spot. There's that, you know, that's the symbol for Sentinel, I bet. I was wondering. But yeah, that makes sense. Because there's Sentinels floating around here. And we need best not to just, you know, bother them too much. Alright, so this one is 183 away. And there's another one out here somewhere. Right there. 435. Well, we definitely need to go in this direction. Closer to him. Yep. Alright. 297. Hundred seventeen. I think this is the spot. I want to build a base up there. Tell me how far. 273. And 87. Even closer. Well, yep. I'm going to put the computer right here at the bottom. <laughs> Praxa base. This is not Praxa base. No prior claims on this site? Good. Yes, we claim the base. And it has stuff floating even up all the way up there. And this will be base. India I N D I A India Outpost We now have India Outpost. We found our Indium. Now we gotta build it. Whoa. And I like the view. All right. Well, if you made this far and you like what you see, do like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And next time, we'll definitely be building an India outpost. And I think we're going to make it out of wood. Have a great day. Bye-bye.